Hey, how's it going awesome humans? This is going to be just a quick tutorial. This is going to be just a quick tutorial uh, on how to make funny faces in Photoshop. I'm going to be using the liquify tool and to make things a little bit more humorous, I'm going to use the puppet warp tool, which you can do just about anything to your image with. So check this out. Stop being weird. Okay, to start this off, I'm gonna do two images because people are really funny when you do this too, but uh, animals are equally, if not more funny, and animals and people, especially when they're doing something like this, are very, very funny. So I'm gonna start with this one. If you have a flattened layer, just make a copy of it uh, because when you go to do the uh, puppet warp, it won't, it won't let you. Uh, it has to be a, a free layer that's not a background. So I'm just gonna start in liquify and that's filter, liquify. Gonna zoom in to my face. This is one of my stock images. And uh, I'm gonna get the bulge tool or the bloat tool. And I'm gonna start here, because this, uh, this is just where I, where I always start. It starts being funny right away. So uh, I'll fix that then. I'll put my little black dot back in my eye. I'm gonna take the forward warp tool and Whatever you see, the person, the face, you're just like accenting that. That's what a caricature artist would do. Just uh, basically look for your flaws or something funny or uh, characteristic of your face and then just go with it. And I'm going to see, I'm going to push in my face a little bit and see what this does. If not, I'm going to do it with the puppet warp. And that looks pretty, that looks pretty gnarly there. I'm liking that. Just make my head a little bit bigger. Going for kind of a, a, a weird skull look here. Almost Frankenstein-like. And I think I'll even pull out my jaw here. Make that a little worse. This is looking pretty ugly. It's, it's starting to blur, so I'm going to use the puppet warp tool to do that. And I am going to pull the chin down a little bit, a little bit more. Maybe up. Pull it up. You can pretty much do whatever you want here. And I'm going to warp the headstock of my guitar here, too. I'm going to make it look really, really funky. Um, trying to figure out what I want to do with my nose. I'm going to shrink my nose. And all your main tools are right here along the left in the liquify plugin. So I'm going to going to really shrink that up. And uh, I'm going to do something weird to my ears too. Kind of got a cross between Frankenstein and a, a bat here going on. So I'm going to click OK. That'll apply my settings. And you can see I'm looking pretty, pretty crazy right now. And just going to add a new layer and put my pupil back in, zoom way in there, and just put a black dot there. You don't need to be real fancy. Put my little white highlight back in, make it the same over here. And this is where you can draw a little bit more attention to the eyes. Kind of a puppy dog look. <laughs> there we go. And uh, going to combine that. Now I'm going to go to edit. Puppet warp. And that's gonna draw these crazy little things everywhere. And I'm gonna stay out pretty far right now. And I'm just gonna start making some points here where I wanna adjust things. And you can pretty much make a point anywhere. It's almost like you're making an outline. And I'm just gonna move these points, and you'll notice I'm moving up here, so I'm gonna make a point up there, a point here, so that doesn't move. And this one. I can pretty much do anything I want to because it's a solid background. You're going to have to be more careful if you have a background or just cut it out. Um, if you have a background, this is going to move everything. So you got to be a little bit more careful what you're moving. Okay, now I'm just going to start moving some points. I'm going to make my legs real skinny. And then let it flare out here, really exaggerate it. I'm going to just skip ahead up here and really kind of stretch this out far as I realistically can. See my head's moving here, so I'll put a point there. And I'm going to bend this up, so I have to make some points here. I don't want this to move or this to move, so at least not too much. So I'm going to bend the neck here, put another point there, 
another point here. And just kind of balance that out a little bit, make that a little smoother. And then I'm even going to pull this down even further. And now I got like kind of an S-shaped neck, which is pretty crazy. Kind of want to make my hand bigger here too. Really make that look ridiculous. Sometimes it won't let you make points very close together. So got to kind of work with it. And I'm going to apply that. And here's a before and after. It's pretty, pretty different, pretty crazy looking. I'm just going to save this. Now I'm going to move on to this one. Uh, it's pretty obvious what I'm going to do. I'm going to start here. I'm going to pull this tongue out as far as I possibly can. And I'm just going to use the uh, forward warp tool and just give it a pull. A little gradual. See how far out I can get that without it looking too weird. Kind of give it a little upturn. And uh, now I'm going to make the eyes a lot bigger or the eye a lot bigger, as well as my eyes. Can make him look even more comical here. Pull my hair up a little bit. Make it as funny as I possibly can. The same thing I did with its tongue. I'm going to kind of do the same thing here. And I actually could have saved myself a lot of time by using a different tool here to shrink my face. That just started looking pretty funny, so I'm going to make my teeth real big. I'm going to hit OK on that one. That looks pretty crazy. I'm going to add some white highlights to Mr. Horse's eyeball here. Maybe do the same thing to my sunglasses here so it makes sense, kind of. And I could do a lot more to this. Uh, there's a lot more funny things I could do to this, uh, like make the horse's body ridiculously tiny. But I'm going to show you the before and after this. There, it's funny. There, it's really funny. So here's what we did. Super goofy guitar player guy. A horse that lo loves this guy. This one's definitely my favorite of the two, uh, probably just because there was more work into it. I really put a lot of points in there and did a lot of work with it more so. But uh, this is definitely funny. This one's definitely, definitely funny. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. See you next time.